cuckoo. Okay, so I know kind of a, a frustrating one last time out in terms of results, right? But uh, I guess that's where you, they say that's where you learn the lessons, right? So what did you take out of that fight? Ah, uh, man, I, I took that I could definitely hang with some of the best in the world. You know, I uh, got to bust up one of the goats and, uh, you know, I uh, wanted to get the W there, but get back to the work, get better, and uh, move on. Yeah, like you said, I'm not sure you'd want to take a win out of there, but does that do something for you to go like, like, like so that's one of the greatest of all time, right? Like, I'm right there with them. Right. Uh, you know, we all think that we could be UFC fighters or uh, champions, but until you actually get in there with a former champion or a former, you know, UFC fighter type of thing, um, you don't really know. And, you know, I made my debut uh, fighting Ray Borg, knew I belonged here. Now I've just fought Dominic Cruz and, you know, know I belong at one of the top. Does that do something for the confidence? Because that seems like such an important part of this game is, right, the, the self-belief and everything. Does that do a big thing for you, even though, again, you didn't get the win? Yeah, that's everything, man. You know, we're all exceptional athletes, exceptional fighters. It's uh, the mind when you step in there. Nice. Now we get to do it again uh, in front of a, a big sold-out crowd, right? I'm just curious. I mean, does that, does that do anything for you? Does that, I mean, I know in the cage, it's still in the cage, but having that crowd, does that do something for you? Yeah, I'm super pumped. Uh, I went to the Phoenix card, got to experience the crowd there. Really, this will be my first time with a like a huge crowd you know my first three fights were I was on the undercard there wasn't many people there last four have been COVID season so I'm super stoked to walk out to a full arena does that does that like bring back the octagon jitters anymore like do you think there'll be like added nerves or is that is that gone at this point I thrive under that type of pressure so uh it's always a good thing for me very nice talk about the match I was saw a guy that it's like there was like a lot of hype around him recently do, do you feel like he was deserving that what, what, what do you think about him as an opponent yeah, of course. Uh, if you've ever watched either of us fight, no words need to really need to be said. Um, you know, I'm gonna we're gonna meet in the middle and throw down. Let's we'll say on paper it looks like it could be a fight of the night type fight. Is that what you're expecting here? Yeah, of course. Uh, you know, this one reminds me of the Nathaniel Wood fight. You know, everyone talked about it and we lived up to the hype. And I think this one's gonna be exactly the same. You know, the way I fight, if you survive, it's probably gonna be fight of the night. If you if I put you away, I'm probably trying to grab a bonus here. Uh, it's the last thing for me, obviously an incredibly deep division, but do you think about, you know, where this puts you, what this gets you? I mean, you just went with a legend, you know, a win here. I mean, do you think about rankings or matchups or where you would be? Yeah, I want the belt, you know, uh, obviously, eventually, but, you know, stacking cash, beating people up, that's what I like to do. So uh, here we are. Is it kind of cool that you're in probably the deepest division in the sport? Yeah, you know, when I made the move from flyweight to bantamweight, you know, I saw the potential at bantamweight. It was a super exciting division. You know, I get fly, flyweight's making a resurgence, you know, can't count them out. But now bantamweight's being talked as one of the best divisions in the UFC. You know, this is probably one of the first times in history the, the lower weight classes have been, you know, in that, that talk. How exciting would it be to get another 50 grand this Saturday? Hopefully it's 75 this time. Yes, man, I tried to do that the other week, but I don't think they're, they're not buying it. But not buying it? We'll have, we'll have to talk to Dana in that meeting then. Pitch it out of the fighter meeting, yeah? yeah. But, uh, you know, like I said, uh, every time I fight, I'm expecting a bonus.